Hello, and welcome to the Acionetics Quick Start Guide. In this video, we'll be covering how to scan a website or web application for vulnerabilities, analyze the scan results, and create a report. To start a scan with Acionetics, first we need to create a target. To create a new target, simply provide the URL or IP address of the target to be scanned. Once a target is created, we can adjust any settings associated with that target. Most web applications have restricted areas which require user login and often need to be scanned too. For simple web applications, you can choose to automatically log into the site. In this case, Acunetics will automatically try to detect the login form and any logout links. For more complex web applications, you will need to create a login sequence. A login sequence is a series of steps which Acunetics will replay in order to log in and maintain an authenticated session. You will first need to browse to the login page of the site, enter your credentials, and log into the restricted area. You can replay the login actions to make sure that the steps you have recorded are correct. The scanner will make use of the same login credentials during the scan. Click Next when ready. You will now need to define any restrictions. Restrictions are buttons or hyperlinks which should not be followed during the scan, including logout links or any other functionality which we do not want the scanner to click on. In this case, we can go ahead and select the logout link since we do not want Acunetics to log itself out during the scan. The login sequence wizard will intercept HTTP requests and will ask to confirm the action to be restricted. Wildcards can also be used for session identifiers, CSRF tokens, nonces, or other one time tokens. Choose to restrict the request and click Next. Acunetics requires a valid session in order to scan the restricted area. Because of this, Acunetics needs a way to identify if the session being used is still valid. The login sequence recorder will try to auto-detect the session pattern for you. This is used by the scanner to validate the session during a scan. When a pattern is successfully detected, you can click the OK button. Click Finish when ready. This will open a prompt to save the newly created login sequence. Once the login sequence is saved, you can now select it inside of the target configuration. Once you are done configuring the target, click Save to save your settings and Scan to begin the scan. We can choose the type of scan we want to run. We can choose to generate a report after the scan completes. For this demonstration, we'll select an affected items report. Finally, we can either choose to scan this target now, at a later date, or even on a recurring schedule. We'll run this scan now. The scan will start instantly, and Acunetics will proceed to crawling the site, identifying all the pages, forms, and inputs. Acunetics will then scan the pages and inputs detected for vulnerabilities. You can review the progress of the scan from the Scan Stats panel. The scan progress will be updated in real time. Clicking on the Vulnerabilities tab will display the vulnerabilities as they are being detected. You can start reviewing these vulnerabilities while Acunetics completes the scan. Vulnerabilities detected are given a classification ranging from high to informational to indicate the severity of the vulnerability. Clicking on a cross-site scripting vulnerability shows us the dynamics of the test performed to discover the flaw, including the HTTP headers exchanged during the test as well as additional attack details and payload used. Acunetics also provides additional vulnerability details, remediation advice, and additional web references for each vulnerability. Acunetics allows us to view and manage all vulnerabilities from a single interface. We will start with the dashboard which provides us with a bird's eye view of all vulnerabilities detected. We can drill down into individual vulnerabilities by filtering which vulnerabilities we're interested in looking at. Apart from viewing details for specific vulnerabilities, we can also mark a vulnerability as fixed, export it to an issue tracker for the development team to fix, or even export a web application virtual patch for the operations team to mitigate the vulnerability in production until a fix is available. The scan we started earlier is now complete and has automatically generated the report we selected. 
In addition to generating reports for individual scans, we can also generate reports for a target or on all the vulnerabilities identified by Acunetics on all the configured targets. That brings us to the end of this quick start guide. Remember that more help is available at www.acunetics.com forward slash support. Our support team are also available to answer your queries and can be reached at support at acunetics.com.